Hey guys, Static here. Um, been playing this U-boat game for the last couple of weeks for the first time. Really enjoying it. Um, I highly recommend it. It's really, really well done. Pretty much an amazing game. Uh, there are, however, a few things that took me kind of getting some used to, and I thought I could share uh, some of these tips and kind of what I do. And um, I am running the eight unstable version, the latest, um, just because I test software for a living, so why not? They, they, they did do a couple other things that really make it easy to submit bugs and whatnot, but so far it's been pretty good. And uh, like I said, it's a beautiful game. So let's go ahead and get started and kind of show you like how I run it. I'm just gonna do real simple. Um, first of all, in settings, um, I turned off saves right now just because I want it to be very smooth. I'm just gonna go through here real quickly. Um, you can change the map skin. I kind of like that a little bit. You can change the UI skill if the buttons are a little bit too small or too large. Um, there's like, you know, just, just so you guys are aware of the little things, you can adjust the gamma, um, you know. I wish a little bit more sliders on audio control because I don't really like the sound of the ticker. But I think that if they increase the uh, flexibility there, that would be really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to new game and I'll show you what I, I'm just gonna start with a very vanilla first thing, assuming this is the first time for most people. This is kind of like a preset. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just gonna pick everything hardcore, expert, right? And you can adjust this, but I think what it does is it, it just sets this. So like basically, basically after those settings, this is, the realism. Now I'm going to turn some stuff off. I don't want the tutorial because I've already got it. Um, I recommend obviously you go through it. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to leave that on hard. I'm going to keep that. I don't want to deal with food, you know, especially for these training videos. Um, turn that off. I leave the collision damage on. I leave that on realistic. High detection. I'll leave that on where they won't tell you when I'm detected. Um, let's see here. I'll leave all this on. The only thing I will take off is the hardcore aiming mode. It is pretty cool, but. Well, that's a completely different animal. So I haven't played it enough to really get into that. I will, and I'm excited to do it, but right now it's uh, there's so many other things to learn, and that's just, I think that comes later. But it's cool that they do that. Oh, also the expanded cellar major. I don't care about like cleaning. So if you turn this off, you still get the guys doing stuff you want them to do, but he's not worried about like, you know, sweeping. It's like, it's just a, so I don't want to deal with that, especially right now. Okay. So we're about 80% realism. Of, I like that, right? It's it's still fun. It's not, you know, annoying, um, but it's still hard, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and hit next here. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to pick the defaults. Okay. Okay, so first time around, it's um, it kind of makes you go through. If you just hit escape, kind of bypass it. Okay, so I just want to get this is like you're at port. This is kind of where you start off. Okay, this is your warehouse where you can get gas and torpedoes and ammunition. Here's where you can select your missions. The funny thing is about that is that this guy will move after the first or second one. He'll end up over here by the car. So just realize that he was here. He moves over there. I'm not sure why they do that. Keep them in the same place. This is recruitment for like getting new sailors or whatever, or dropping off prisoners. Um, so first things first, uh, I think the hardest thing with this game is really getting your staff to do what you want, right? So it's like, I think before you do anything, um, you wanna go to the management and it's, a, you know, you're gonna get more officers as you go along here. The, the setup that I like is, when you get you get two extra guys, I want an extra radio radio amp because I want someone always on shift, and I actually prefer the third mechanic. So some people want the other officers um, because you know you can have I you know navigation like someone dedicated to that. I I kind of found a way around that. I like the the three mechanics and the two radio men, and that's as far as I've gotten. Maybe they unlock more. So I think I'm at yeah like seven officers now. Um, you can see right off the bat, they're only giving you 16 out of 18 sailors. So just, you know, max out your sailors, right? Easy. Okay, so the hardest thing is, first of all, this like the schedules, the tasks, all that, right? We're gonna go through. I found a really simple way that really works for me and I really like it once I did the work, okay? And it's it, we're just really gonna simplify this. 
So first things first, is let's get our guys in order. You can see here under the schedule, I put the two officers. I want the mechanics together. So what I do is I just drag, right? Um, so here's our two main guys. Here's our mechanic. And here's our radio man. So he's going to be our main shift. So what I want to do is I'm going to do two 12-hour shifts, morning and night. Okay? Uh, day shift, day shift, and night shift, night shift. And then when we get that third radio, that second radio man, like we can have like it split up even, evenly. Okay? So uh, let's see here. So I kind of just shuffle them around, right? I can move them. I just, I like my mechanics on the end. Um, mechanics are, they're really useful for loading stuff and fixing stuff, especially if you're not gonna like, you know, if you're really gonna go into it and play realistically. Um, so let's go back to management and kind of see what we have. So our guys are in order now. So what I do is I just get rid of the, the, uh, the middle shift, the evening shift. Okay, and then what I do is I do 12, uh, 12 hours on, 12 hours off. If you hold down one of these, I think it's like this, right? And then be like that, All right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that being said, um, day shift, night shift, Okay, and then this is kind of odd because we don't have the second guy yet. I don't remember what I did. I'm kind of further along in my campaign, but don't worry about that for now. We're going to fix it. And then again, day shift. If you use the right mouse left key, you can, you know, make that faster, right? And then night, you know, that's how I'm doing this. Sometimes I mess it up like that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I haven't figured out the rate of man, like, basically you want him available. So almost better to do it right off the bat, I think, is just this. Because what I don't want to do is, is get into a situation where I need him and he's tired. So just let him sleep all day. You know, we'll just, we'll just give him manual commands. Okay, so that's real easy. Morning shift, night shift. Okay. Um, we'll get to the tasks in a little bit here. All right, so let me go ahead and pause it and I'll bring up my kind of like cheat sheet of what I do here. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna have to forgive me a little bit because I'm on like kind of further down the campaign where I have more officers and this is kind of shift around. The vanilla, I should have loaded up my very vanilla. I actually have one um, where I have it like, so it's just set up from the beginning. I don't have to do this each time, but I'm just gonna show you the best way to do it is just unassign everything. Okay. We want all just whatever. Okay. So basically we have a day shift, night shift. Um, and just, it's, it's priority. You don't have to have 10. You don't have to nine. If they're only doing one things, you can just do one, two, three and three wins. Okay. So really what we want our, our skipper officers is basically we need them navigating and sometimes observing, and then we need them to give them the calm down command. And that's really, and we need them to sleep. And then some, Sometimes what I'll do is I'll throw, like as I get later on with more guys, I'll have, I'll dedicate one of them during the night shift to always be in the radio because I like having someone on the radio just because it's, I just like it. Okay, so, but we're gonna be real simple. So let's do um, one, two, and then we'll do three, and then we'll do four because we want him to come. Now, I don't really, we don't deal with that a lot, okay? And then the same thing, one, two, four, and three. So all that means is that he won't, if he's in bed, he'll get up to calm this person down, but he's not gonna get up to go into navigation if he's sleeping. So right now that's a pretty good step, but we may add in like a radio command there. Okay, next step, let's see here. So this next one, like I said, I, I kind of screwed, uh, I, like I should have loaded up the vanilla because I had all this figured out. But I think what we want to do on this one is basically our radio man is I think initially until you get two, you kind of want him to, when you're under the water, to use the um, hydrophone and then when he's above water to do the radio. So you don't want to give a priority, I don't think, right now. So I'm just going to do one, one. And then they do 
do the first aid, which is very important. So that's going to be first. So we're going to do two, and we're going to do three. That means they'll get out of bed to, to help somebody, and that's that's what we want. So very simple, right? We only have one guy there. So we'll, we'll come back to that if we have any problems. But again, just simplify this, right? Don't worry about everything that's on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the mechanic now. Okay, so yeah, and again, we can shift this around. So the mechanics are they're definitely <laughs> the ones that you spend the time. Because what happens is that if you take the defaults, they're just warming up torpedoes and doing all this stuff for like 90% of the time that you don't need it. And I just found a really easy way to just make it all sense. And again, um, this changes as you get more people. So don't quote me on all this, but you'll see what I'm trying to do. I really have it dialed in in my later campaign where it's just, everyone just works great. Okay, so things that we care about, okay? I like it when they resupply ammunition. We don't want to run out of guns, okay? We want them to load torpedoes. Now this is just when they come out of docks. This is loading torpedoes, but it's warming them, okay? So we don't want them warming stuff unless we want it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do one, one, and then almost everything else we want them doing outside of bed. So two, two, so basically we don't, we want, if, if, we, if they're sleeping, I want them to get out of bed and to come load these, right? Three, three, and we can, sometimes you can, when that third mechanic comes in here, I dedicate a lot of these tasks just to that third guy, and then these guys just man the engines and whatnot. Okay, actually, I think what we want, we want the engines to be number two here. So, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, always keep the torpedoes loaded. And then what I do is I leave these blank. And then when I get into battle, where I'm coming up close, I put six and seven, six, put six, seven, six, seven, and then they're loading torpedoes, warming them up the whole time. They're either warming them up if they're loaded or they're pulling in new ones and warming them up. And then when I'm out of battle, I just put this back to zero. And it works great. And they're not just sitting there loading torpedoes all day long. Okay, and then importantly, obviously, uh, repairs to me are very important. Some people like don't like to do, but they're kind of dumb. Like they'll take like a light bulb repair over like a, a hole repair. So just be aware. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be eight and eight. And I think that's a pretty good start, right? We don't. We can assign people guns. Um, I think that's a pretty good startup. And like I said, I like having a guy on the radio, but for right now with our base staff, we're just gonna be simple. So that looks good, that looks good, I think. Squads is a little bit confusing. Um, the way that it works that you you want you want sailors assisting because you get better efficiency. So like if you only have one sailor helping your mechanic on the engine, he won't get as good as Gas efficiency is if you had, to, you know, like two is better than one. You know, I think loading stuff, it's faster. So try, I, I mean, there's there's people have better ways than I do it. Um, same to think, you know, your, your radio guy, the more guys that you have, the lar larger the area that they can scan. So for right now, I'll put everything at two. The officers, not so much. Um, a little bit hard at first because we don't have the snorkel which i really like so and we don't have the two radio guys so it's a little bit hard but um once you get kind of going with the rest of your crew like you know you got you know sonar you got the hydrophone you got someone on you know you can assign you know like sure if you assign more guys to scan then fine but you know you don't really need them so I, i'm not sure what i'll do i'll leave them at zero now and then again we have 18 Sailor, so let's just bump this up to eight. You can do the math on it. I found it kind of weird, right? It's like it doesn't completely add up to me yet. So I'll just leave this. Don't worry about that yet. Um, once you kind of go down here, you can see it. Like this guy's got two people and he's loading torpedoes, right? Because we have him set up. Now he's not warming him because we just want him to load the torpedoes. Okay. Um, this is early on. You don't have any enemies at the gates. Like it doesn't, it's not a prayer. Just let him load. Okay. Now you can see here, we didn't set any officers to this guy. Now if I wanted to assign more guys for to scan further, I can just do that, right? Okay, but, and then setting those those up in the other way, it just automatically gives them officers. So there's better, it's it's a little bit, there's, there's some issues there. I'm not 100% sold on how they do that, but the game's still amazing. This game is really well done. 
Um, I've already bought two copies just because I like supporting them, and I got one for my 72-year-old dad, <laughs> who uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, just very, very cool game, uh, very immersive, um, you know, just my kind of style, right? Like, one thing about this game that I've learned is, like, just slow it down. Like, you don't have to be in a rush, you know, you can take your time. The ships are moving so slow that... I mean, you can linger around and do whatever, and it's like, even if there's a convoy behind you, it still takes forever. So it's like, just take your time and enjoy it, you know? Okay, so first things first, um, it's gonna make us do some initial kind of stuff here. Warehouse for torpedoes, this is where you can buy torpedoes, load up, get gas, buy, you know, deck ammunition. We have food turned off, so I don't, it's kind of nice not have to worry about that. Um, this leading officer, changes right so like in the first one or two he's here and then after that he's always by the car so just realize if you're looking for him early on i'm not sure why they moved him it seems odd it's like just keep him somewhere right uh, but again it's very minor detail for how amazing this game really is okay so uh first things first let's go ahead and accept a mission and the reason i like accepting missions first is because sometimes they want you testing torpedoes and so if you go out and buy a bunch of torpedoes and, and then you go in here and select the mission, you're going to have to unload them. And then, so it's like, just get the mission first. Okay. Here's where we can select missions. Here's like reputation points where you can like unlock, you know, more officers. Um, headquarters is where you're kind of like your long-term strategy, like where I can unlock the snorkel. So this to me is important. I, I really like the snorkel. Um, I, I spend the time unlocking him at the penalty, right? Training, this is just the tutorial, and we're not going to deal with that. Okay, so let's just get an order here. Unfortunately, we got to kind of wait through this. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while this goes through, where they walk through each section. Okay, we're back. Now that I it unlocked all the areas, which takes kind of a long time. Um, so these are our mission we can select. If you notice, here's kind of like the, the hardness level, like green being the easiest, yellow being medium, and red being hard. If I switch between there, you can see the bars go up, go down here. Obviously, you get more uh, for your for the, the amount of effort. Also, too, these yellow, I think this is specifically for this campaign. See, it's contributing towards the black bit, so you can, like, unlock or work towards a progress. This game is insane. I mean, I haven't, I've only been here in a few weeks, and it's like, I'm wondering, I mean, you kind of see it's like, you can do your best, and it's like, wow, like, I'm barely, I'm not even sure I'm contributing to the to the actual, like, overall war effort i mean i haven't really experienced the whole game like not even close i don't think but it's really immersive which i really appreciate so um yeah like i'm not i don't even know can you like change the outcome of the war in this game just based off of what you do i have no idea i'm sure someone does though okay so let's go ahead and just um let's just select the easy one let's go ahead and start towards the black pit this is just kind of like let's just get started okay and here's the area it wants us to go so let's go ahead and select this Okay. Basically, it just wants us to sink some ships, right? We got to travel within that mark, mark area. So go ahead and hit M for map. I'm gonna zoom out here. Okay. So one. Oh, sorry. I used to play on multiple monitors, so it's gonna get me some. Oh, and one thing I noticed. See how that's real slow. Um, I might have to turn that up. Uh, definitely turn up the rotation of your deck gun. It's uh, like a major thing. It's so slow. Uh, once I turned up like the aiming rotation, it's been like really fun because you can actually like aim and do stuff, shoot at planes with your deck gun. It's awesome. Okay, so that's where we want to go. Um, let's. What I'll do usually is I'll kind of bust ass through here and get to uh, here and kind of go from there, right? And just kind of split up or whatever you want to do. It's not rocket science. Let's see here. What am I doing? All right. Okay, so let's go. First thing we want to do is load up. All right, so I'm not sure what it's moving. It's like I, I really don't like how this kind of comes in there. We're going to get rid of some scrap metal. Um, this is like a max of five, so I'm just moving one part over. And again, I don't know why these aren't maxed up, but I want to max out my slots. I don't want, like, areas. This is – so he's moving ammo, I think. I'm not sure why they're doing that. Um, 
we don't have any money yet, so be the, like you'll unlock money quickly, but the very first mission you have nothing. So just literally spend it on torpedoes and nothing else. Um, fuel, fine. Get fuels cheap. I wouldn't even max out your deck gun or anything yet, just because we just have to get through the first mission. Um, I really like having the suit because you can you can go in and get more like ammo after you sink and. It's just a little bit more realistic. There's some cool things about the game. I'm not sure if people even realize that exist. Like um, how you can like, you know, um, inspect ships and stuff. You don't have to sink them. You can like check their papers. It's it's pretty rad. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna be simple. Obviously, I like having more than I like having at least that. Um, we definitely have to unlock some stuff, right? So going. Um, Sorry, let me just f finish up the torpedoes here. And again, you don't even have to really max them out. We're just going out on a pretty easy mission. This is a little bit weird. I've noticed that you move stuff over and then you go and check again, and then they're it's not they're not there. Oh, I don't see. I ran out of money already. Whatever, it's fine. They just get through it. You'll have plenty of money after the first like one or two missions. Okay. Um, skip ahead, right, right up here. Just why wait? Um, I wish that they let you speed ahead, but I can see how you can kind of cheat. But it's sometimes you just want to skip ahead four hours, and this just doesn't cut it. Right? Your time is barely moving. So, you know, maybe increase the time compression for this uh, docking area would be kind of nice. Let's see here. Um, headquarters. So this is important um, just because you get some stuff that I feel like are absolute must needs. If you're playing on a hard and you want to like not like I don't want to have like if I if I die I die like I'll have to just start over I guess but really what we want is um, these sonar deca uh, decoys because like they're they're brutal like you have to have them and even if you have them you still might die but I have a much better chance of surviving being detected if I have this so. Would I put on engineer on it right now? Maybe, <laughs> I don't have anyone. So, you know, maybe the, the first mission I should have done is probably unlock as many officers as I can just to get these things rolling. I don't care if there's a time penalty. See, it says like, oh, if you don't, if you start it too early, it's gonna take twice as long, so be it, that's fine. So that is important, that and the snorkel, okay? Snorkel, obviously the radar detection, you know, eh. Um, I would say, these are a toss up. Like this is like, this saves you, right? This is like, just makes life so much easier. Um, obviously you unlock the, the conning towers, you get better guns, you know, better hydrophone, obviously. Like hydrophone, ammo, conning tower. So, so I would say like one, two, right, three, four maybe like those are the things i'm spending time on get some more resources here um so like this is ready to go right but we don't have anyone so definitely just get it started early but we don't have any guys first okay so next thing let's see here we got our management okay i think we're ready to skip ahead i'm kind of like not really focused a whole lot right now so forgive me if i uh messed up but let's go ahead and um Let's go ahead and move in. So I usually check, because like I said, you'll load up torpedoes and come in here and then they're not all loaded. And I think it might be something to do where they test the torpedoes and the torpedoes are bad. I'm not 100% sure, it may say it, but it's like, I don't have time for that. But we don't have any money anyway, so whatever. Here's your stern storage, so we don't have any torpedoes in the back. Uh, that was kind of confusing at first for me. Um, yeah, but we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, I like trying to be a little bit realistic, so I'll turn on the, uh, I hit the tab button, by the way. I don't deal a lot of like, I like tab and I like alt. You know, alt brings you this overlay, tab brings you this, right? I'm gonna turn on the searchlight. Um, you know, you don't really need the red lighting. I mean, it'd be kind of nice to get a night mode so you don't have to turn on and off, on and off, on and off, but whatever, right? Just, you know, I kind of make it a little bit realistic. Take your time in this game, it's, it's fun. You know, and then let's go ahead and uh, get the ball rolling. I mean, you. I'm assuming you guys have watched the tutorial, right? This isn't really a intro intro tutorial. It's more about like, okay, I know how to move the the boat. You know, 
what else, what other little tips are, you know, I kind of creep out of port, right? I'm not just going to like haul full speed ahead, you know, go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Just kind of be a little bit realistic. You know, um, you will find subs, like your friendly subs will be here and they will crash. So if you get a detection, if this guy's coming in and you bust out of there, like I've seen him crash. So, um, I kind of get out, right? And then go ahead and I speed it up. I don't care about efficiency right now because I want to get to the where, um, where I can speed ahead, right? Like I want to do whatever I can to get that max time compression. Right now it's pretty weak, but you'll see that this will unlock, right? See it's grayed out right now. So I'll speed up. You can see that my, my engineers are, I have two guys working on him. So if I go to this little fuel thing, I'm getting the, the benefit of that 30% of having those additional sailors um, helping out. Okay. And then that's how much fuel. If you highlight over there, that's how much fuel. So at that speed level, right, my total route to where I want to go, but I have, you know, 1200, 12, sorry, 12,000 kilometers on the current tank. Now, if I drop that to four, three, let's go up a little bit, right? Okay. Now I have 15,000 kilometers. So if you really are hurting on, gas, you need to be more efficient, right? You can go to lower speed. Now, one thing I learned late is that if you really, really want to go and be efficient, like if I want to go to America, you got to switch between diesel and electric because the whole time you're running your diesel here, like I'm forcing diesel, um, I'm charging up the battery. So if you're just running diesel the whole time, your battery stays full the whole time, but you're never really using your electric motor. So, and you're kind of just wasting that. So what you could do is that I, I'm on it. Like if I wanted to be really efficient right now, I could just be like, okay, I'm going to switch to electric motor. Okay. It's a little bit, it's obviously slower, but I can go ahead and um, go full speed. Let's drain this battery out, right? As quickly as possible. And then you'll get like crazy distances with your gas. So let's see here, we're at hundred percent still, obviously, but let's go ahead and get ahead. I'll just kind of show you like a real like efficient now this is, takes a lot more work right um let's go ahead and go here see like my radio guy right if he was on a schedule he might be working right now well why do i care like there's no one here you know i don't need to be detecting so i need him later on so just when when you have only one radio man at the first it's, i think it's just best to just not assign him to any schedule and just kind of manually give him jobs when you need them. So again, so like now this unlock this compression time, right? This time compression. So I can make a really speed ahead. You can see my battery's kind of dying. So let's go ahead and speed that up. Okay. Battery's dead. Good switch to the diesel. I'm going to scroll out here. Okay. Now watch, I'm, I'm out of battery, right? Switch to the diesel. You don't have to even go full speed. You can go forward three, right? Get extra. Okay. Let's go ahead. Speed compression. You can turn up that there goes your electric motor. I mean, this is like really efficient, right? You can just do this all day long and you can go super far. It's a pain. I kind of, I recommend, I put in a, a submitted a, a bug or not a bug, but a suggestion. It's like have like an auto, like a efficiency mode, right? Where you can just have it automatically flip flop, but we're not going to deal with that. I just want to show that you can do it. We have plenty of gas, so we're just going to stick to diesel, even though we're wasting a bunch of stuff. Okay. That's okay. So, in, in, and so I'll even go forward just so we can get out there. Um, let's go ahead and skip ahead. You know, I, I don't, wouldn't do this in a real, cause it's just like, try to set it up, right? Like you could have your guys, like you could have your skipper, like he's looking right now, right? He's out there looking, you know, <laughs> whatever. You know, at nighttime, you know, we're in daytime right now. So that's, you know, Still pretty dark, but you know, you can switch your normal lighting. You know, we have our search light on. So I kind of try to play realistic. It's a beautiful game. I mean, it's, it really is. Um, just take your time. Like you don't have to rush. You can just enjoy it. Uh, but for the sake of your guys' time, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay. So usually what I'll do is I'll kind of like try to keep it, you know, they're doing something. Okay. So. Maybe like around here or so, I might start trying to scan, okay? So what I do, hold down tab, and then go to our radio guy, and then we're above water, okay? So if you're above water, he can only be on the radio. If you, if you do listening room, it's sonar, but we don't have sonar, I don't think. It might be really small. 
Um, let's see here if they give you a default sonar. I don't think they do. Right? So if you have your radio guy in above the sea, right? We're up, we're up, we're surfaced. He's doing sonar, but we don't have sonar. Okay. So really the hydrophone is what you want this guy. That's where you get the most. So in order to do that, we got to submerge, right? So let's go ahead and uh, slow it down just a little bit or even just stop. We're going to go ahead and drop it. Okay. We can kind of speed ahead a little bit just so they we don't have to wait. Okay. Now, he automatically, I think, switched over hydrophone because if you went, if you go back to that management and you take a look at him, right, I have it set to equal one and one. So I think he just knows at that point, right? So that's good. That's what we want. We don't have to force him. So if you go up, he'll probably go to the radio. Okay, so there you go. Max hydrophone in. Um, he doesn't have officers, so I believe, let's see if anyone gets assigned to him. I think I might not have done that, right? Let's go to squads. Did I give them anyone? I gave them sailors. Maybe there's no, I don't know. This is kind of confusing me still. Let's see if I can max them out. I can. It might have gotten them eventually. So you can see how that went out, right? So basically you have this huge hydrophone, but you have these guys kind of like scanning. It's like, who cares, you know? <laughs> um, this is pretty good. Now, also too, if I speed up, right? If I go full speed, that circle is going to drop, right? Because we're creating a lot more sound. So be conscientious about that, I guess, right? If you, if you cruise at a better level, like three is pretty default. Like if you stay with their default, you know, it's pretty good efficiency, pretty good sound. Sometimes you want to go to two. If you really want to be slow, you can go to one, but at least we're getting some sort of scan here, right? Now, because we're submerged, we, I think we can't go full full speed ahead. So it does take time, right? So it's a little bit slower, but uh, let's see here. Oh, that's right. See, I don't have the snorkel. This is why I just love the snorkel because I can switch between gas and diesel, right? Now it's like really unlock the snorkel. It's so much nicer. So really, I, I, I again, I'm way into the campaign where I'm playing. So I'm starting up from scratch, which was like, a week ago so forgive me if that you know I, really we probably shouldn't be under until we get the snorkel because you can see that we just run out of battery so fast and we can't you know the snorkel sticks up and you can run the diesel engine and still be a submerged and still use the hydrophone so right now until we get that snorkel we can't do anything so let's just stay up above the surface which means that we don't have the hydrophone so that means that you know you might have to like have your your officers like scan Okay, see how he automatically went to scan mode? But we don't have any guys, so on him, if I increase this, give him more officers, it goes up, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and drop this. Again, this is kind of hokey. I've done the math, I've gotten it working. It's There's like 18 guys, you have two shifts, but I don't know, it just sometimes it just doesn't seem it seems like I'm like always missing a guy or something, but it doesn't matter. It's it's all right as long as you're, you know, don't worry about that right now. See how wide that got. Okay. Now again, we're at nighttime, right? So technically, we should have at least red lighting, if not the searchlight, which I already had on the whole time, which is kind of funny. Um, if I'm going up and down, here's your, your your tanks, right? I usually I have a pretty good process whenever I. If I'm submerged and I go up to the surface, as soon as I hit that surface button, I immediately turn on my compressors and the pump, just because I have that realistic bilge on. So I never have to worry about water filling up. Um, I can see I have dark nights on. And um, let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit more here. Let's get to light time at least. Let's see how far we are. Okay. So you can see my shift. See how he went to bed, right? He took over. Right, that's all we want. Just 12 and 12, 12 and 12. And then you just, you know, it's very easy to manage. Navigation is important, obviously. Um, okay, so if you have the, if you have this compass turned off, your navigation will go down further. But when we get closer, 
I've really learned about like, you know, you got to be quiet, right? So you leave it on until you think you're going to be in battle, then you turn it off. And if that's okay, you can leave it off the whole time. As long as you have a guy that's set, dedicated to navigating, you'll be okay. So we got a little radio transmission, but you can see that we don't have anyone on the radio, right? This is kind of why I like later on where I can assign a guy. I kind of split it up between an officer and a mechanic. I, I put one officer on the, the radio during the night shift or something because he's not doing anything else. And then I put the mechanic on the radio when he's not doing anything during the day shift. I, I found that to work really well, um, but we're not there yet. So we got a radio transmission, but we can't do anything with it because we don't have anyone on the radio because our guy's asleep, right? But he's rested. I think I wore him out, right? I gave him that job, but I never put him back to bed because he's not on a schedule. So luckily we kind of lucked out there. But if I put him on the radio and I let him get in his seat, you can see here, he's now in seat. So if I click on that, I can actually see him. Um, hopefully we can get that radio. I kind of skipped ahead, but if I skip ahead a little bit, I might be able to get that radio transmission back. And I might have I might have blown it, right? Let's see here, yeah. And, and all that was, was that radio was our, our guys saying that, hey, we, we need to sink a, a ship. Like we see a convoy, it's carrying something important, like sink Empire Liberty, right? That's probably the order. Now I didn't take it, so I'm not gonna, it's not gonna come up on my objective. Did I lose out on points? Yeah but this is just a tutorial. We're kind of skipping through quickly. It doesn't matter. Um, if I didn't take it, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt against you. It's just that we could have done more, right? And that's fine. And the more you cruise around all day, if you're really efficient on gas, I mean, you can, you can, you know, I usually pull in about 25, I usually sink about 25 ships per trip. That's kind of what I average out between, you know, guns and torpedoes. However, if you're really diligent about like storm you know seizing boats and checking them out and checking papers and using your dive suit to go get more ammo i mean you can really extend it out i mean like really like i you can get you can fill up all your deck guns again I, you, I, you can't do torpedoes again so you kind of want to hold on to those but if you know you can just cruise around all day using your deck gun sinking ships i mean you could probably sink 50 ships if you really tried uh just on one outing all right so i put them on the radio now if we get a new one it will come through but i blew that one right that's okay um the only thing i would suggest is that we want him on the hydrophone coming up so i'll give him a little bit but we don't want to wear him out and he's not on a schedule so let's just put him to sleep so tab put him to rest okay these guys are kind of searching these guys are just going in between engines now you notice that these guys are not warming up torpedoes and if you play the default game it's like warming up torpedo they're going back and forth and it's like we just wasted th three days of warming up torpedoes for no reason that's stupid so again how i did that is that i just took off this right six and seven we're getting into battle six seven and usually like like for example i'll leave the the guy that's on the engine off right so like right now walker is is on the engines right like he's scheduled right now it's his shift um because it's six like 12 hour shifts right 6 a.m to 6 p.m so he's on shift well i want him in the engine so i get efficiency so really what i'll do here I and mean, you can have him loading torpedoes too but i'll get this guy to bed right put him zero zero let him do the engines and let herman come in here let's see i might have blown over it already but let's see if he goes ahead and Gets out of bed for that. Let's find out. I'm gonna have to kind of redo it here. Let's set this back to zero. Okay. And again, we're still really far out. I'm just kind of showing you, but let's go ahead and set this to six and seven. That's always the case, and it's above three. So to me, now he should get out of bed. Let's find out. Now check this out. He's not really getting out of bed. He should be. I can just assign him to warm up a torpedo, right? It's much still better than him doing it. I'm not sure why he's not doing it himself. I think he should be. Let's see if he gets into there. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Let's see. Oh, he should be in there. Did I do that right? Task six, seven, Herman. What are you doing, bud? 
you got a priority order here. Two. I'm not going to change that. It, it will work. Like even though, because I, you see, you see when I did it on both of them, he immediately was on shift and did it. So let, let me just go ahead and um. Over. Yeah. Let's see if he jumps ahead. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he's useless. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So he jumped in finally. I don't know. It got through that next. It, when you update it, it might take to the next thing, but whatever. It's his shift now, but he's supposed to be on the engines, right? So let's do this. Okay, so we should have... I really like having the three mechanics. Um, we'll come back to that. All right, let's see here. We got uh, warmed... We're still way early, by the way. Like, we want them on the engines. Like, you don't even have to worry about this until you're, like, ready to go to battle. It doesn't take that long, right? So keep that zero. We always want them loaded, though. Sometimes if you if you need to be quiet I and you you just fired a bunch of torpedoes, you do have to zero this out because you got ships above you. You just fired all your torpedoes. You don't want them cold loading torpedoes in there. All right, we're getting close here. Our rated guy is fully rested, okay? We're still up above service, though, so we've got to drop. Go ahead and stop the motors. And then we'll go ahead and switch him to the listening room. Give him a second here. Oh, you know what? I realized something. One thing we forgot to do is do this this thing right here. Okay. Um, this is real simple. So we have our, our officers and then we have our sailors. Okay. It, they, they still have the two shifts. However, we don't need them doing a bunch of stuff. Um, let me go ahead and see what, what I do here. So my default here is one, one, and I might be two, two, just for like getting the buttons. And I do three, three. Oh, that, you know, that's probably why we're not on the engines too. Three, three. Zero, 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 zero. And then I even pull them off because I don't care. Like they're just scanning the whole time and I don't need to be, I mean, maybe early on, but once you start getting the the other stuff going, you really don't need them out looking because you're using the hydrophone or, you know, sonar or whatever. Um, so was that one, two, three, right? Two, three, four, I think that's right, okay. Okay, so that also, let's see here. That might have been partly why we weren't seeing that updating. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, so now we're, now because we're not moving, we have a nice large swath of the hydrophone. I mean, look at that. You go through there three times, you can scan that whole area. However, we're not moving. So again, it's kind of up to you. Um, Let's go ahead and speed ahead and see how long. It's a little slow. I like three maybe. Yeah, we gotta we gotta cover some distance. So there are only problems without this. Without let I me mean, see how quickly it runs out. So I, I I'm so used to just having the snorkel that I forgot. So what you want to do here is probably go up, right? Go forward, dive, do your check. Go forward, dive, do your check, or just completely ignore the hydrophone in the beginning. Wow, that is really dark. I might have to turn my game up. Um, you may have to, right, here's an option too. And, and again, I, I apologize, just like coming back to the beginning when I had everything set up perfectly and then it's like coming back and trying to reinvent the wheel. It may just be best until you get some of that stuff unlocked just to be up above surface. And I think when I watched like a World War II documentary, they're saying that like, you know, they're, they're, above surface like 90 plus percent of the time so um maybe you just stay above until you can kind of and then just kind of spot check right so we don't need him right now we don't want him on the radio we just want him available so let's go ahead and um stop the search light on that's funny okay we're up here so since we're not going to be using hydrophone right let's let's make sure our Officers are checking. 
Okay, now this is the, the sailors. So our officers are, they do check. It's not as high as a prior navigation. I think that's right. We, we don't want them to get lost. If you wanted to, you could you could throw on here, but I think that they should have it covered. I don't think that adding here would give us any benefit. We could certainly try it, but let's go ahead and see it. So he's navigating because he's, I guess, low, but um, let's see what he does here. So what, we're, no one's scanning anything? Okay. okay. Let's just get this at priority nine, see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, so our sailors are doing it because our officers navigate it. And again, let's see what happens once the shift's up. Okay, so he went back from navigating, got to 100%, and now he's there. Now you can set that equal. The problem is I think you'll get lost. There might be some code where it's like certain, there might be that, I thought I maybe saw that. Um, you might be able to set these both to like one and one and he might be smart enough, but I think I had problems with that. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. You can see how small it is. It's just getting a little bit lighter, not really. Okay, so you're just limited, right? It's stormy, it's raining, there's a storm, that's why it's so dark. It's because there's clouds. I mean, it shouldn't be this dark. I mean, it looks awesome. Um, but yeah, it's like stormy. Um, another thing too is like, anytime that you see any sort of like turbulence, just realize that you might have to manually assign your engineers to the, like the death stabilizer, like when you're ready, because it's just like you need it. It's just uh, a little bit more stable. It'll rock up and down. If you notice that you're like when you're submerged, this is like going in and out, in and out. And you're like, what, why is this like, oscillating back and forth it's because the waves and the periscope or whatever you're trying to do it's too too choppy and you have to sign an engineer to kind of manually stabilize that so we are um looking our it's very tiny right we don't have very much sight at all so again i think maybe what we'll do is just come here full speed don't worry about fuel right now i mean it's take your time but right now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna for the sake of the video okay i'm gonna stop Let's go ahead and go into Periscope. Okay, we're going to go into listening mode. I'm going to start kind of moving ahead here. A little bit better sun. Okay, we can go back to normal lighting. It doesn't really matter. I was too late on turning the searchlight, but it's a beautiful game. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's game sick. I mean, really well done. Okay. All right, we're just kind of doing a little spot check, right? Let's go ahead and stop. Let's speed up a little bit ahead. There we go. Look at that. Thing of beauty. Okay, we haven't gone very far. So again, you know, just, I mean, it's not hard to find ships, but, you know, <laughs> initially you're kind of just trying to, yeah, this is a great. So, coming from this port, I think Nova Scotia, right? This was a this was like a real life port of Halifax, right? This is like a real life route. Okay. Like you stay along that, like you're gonna have a lot of ships, you know, especially like in this range right here. Um. But we got we got some ground to cover, but it's also daytime, but it's stormy. So, what I'll do is I'll do like something like this. Maybe I'll just. We'll just do real we're never gonna get there because we're gonna probably find something but um, we can just spot check once in a while let's go back up to surface now whenever I go to surface automatically just turn on either you know both or one and I pump for the bilge and I kind of just get moving and again I, I I'm a little bit conscientious about fuel efficiency but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna speed ahead right we got a guy Okay, do you want a spot check? Spot check. Stop. Bam. Let's see, see, I forgot to put him to sleep. So again, I like having that second guy. I don't like having to manually do stuff, but we'll get there. Um, he's already on shift. Okay, nice little spot check. We're not moving, so it's a nice wide swap. Okay. Give it, I give it a little bit of time in case they're scanned. Whatever. 
Okay, next. Full speed, put this guy to bed. And I can, you can manually sign if you want, but try to have it set up here. It's really very stormy, which is kind of cool, but right off the bat, we're full on sun here, or uh, storm, I mean. Okay, so the nice thing about when we're above surface, we can really scan ahead. And we're, we're missing a lot because we can't see. It's dark, whatever. You could, you might want to spot check more. That's fine, whatever you want to do. Just gotta give you an example here. Let's go ahead. Now, sometimes you'll get an area of patrol where you, there's literally no ships. Like, I've gone where there's no one there. That's fine. Um, you don't have to kill the ships into here. All they want you to do is patrol this area, and then to get our 4,000 tons credit, you know, just head this way and sink a few ships and you're there. Okay, but we're just trying to map, we're just trying to eliminate this first um, part of our assignment. Okay, so we scanned, nothing there, I think. Going back to the surface, I immediately turn on those three, just to, because. Put on full speed for now. Yeah, I can stop here. Let's take a little look. See, I forgot to put him off, right? So now he's tired. Again, so I, I hate... You gotta get those other officers. And luckily for you, they, they, you do unlock them quickly, but the game gets a lot more fun when you have a full crew. I mean... Like, you need a full crew. Okay? So I think the, the, the what I'm trying to say here is that get through the first few missions. Don't worry about maximizing. Get some money to buy some stuff. Um, and then get, get the ball rolling. Really what I try to do is I try to do the missions where I unlock officers. You need reputation points, but it's pretty easy to get. I mean, we'll, we'll see it. Let's see here, well, let's take another look. And again, you don't even have to look, right? We could just do that and then just head straight to this like hot area, right? I mean, whatever you want to do. That's why I like non-linear games because I hate pre pre-planned paths. It's just so boring. Okay, now luckily we put him to sleep, so he has a little bit of he's, he's fully rested now. Okay, still nothing. Now I can I can scan with this guy. The problem is we're on battery, right? So like if I move to the next, like let's say I do one, it's gonna be very slow. I mean like ridiculous, right? And we're using our battery because we don't we can't use that snorkel, so I got to use the battery. I can't do a uh, diesel. Like I could put on diesel, but we're underwater, so it doesn't work like that, right? Low air quality, right? You run out of low air now. You're using the, the compass that eats up the battery. So earlier on, I guess I should have said that. Um, you may like if you're doing like real stuff where you have like ships and you want it, you're preserving like you got you know tough tough battle coming up or you know a bunch of destroyers looking for you. You want to turn off your stuff to maximize your battery, right? I mean, you can navigate. You don't have to have this on. It's just eating up space. If you actually go to the battery, you can see how much it's eating up, right? Ne minus two per minute. You can see there, um, you know, turn it off. It just means your guy's gonna have to navigate more, Who cares, All right? So let's go ahead and um, get back on the surface, rebuild our, you can turn on the ventilator, but that eats up battery too. Um, so again, initially until you get that snorkel, it's just a lot of management. It's a little bit more tedious, but yeah, snorkel's awesome. Oops, I know I've said that. All right, let's see here. Um, so again, we're up above. Battery starting to fill up. Let's just use diesel. Let's just get this mission done, I guess. Okay, so is that just about perfect almost? Okay, yeah, we did get it. Okay, so there we go. All right, head here. However you want to do it. You know, use gas if you want. Like, I could try to... Let's try to do this. Let's try to do... I'll do it quick. Yeah, 
you can see here, I'm just basically, it's going so fast though that it's like so fast that I can't even keep up with it. So instead of going full speed, if I did that, watch, like, let's go to, let's go to, like, three is like a good medium number, right? So let's try that again. So let's switch to electric, go full time compression, kill that battery. Okay, now I have a little bit more time to react. All right, there we go. Switch to electric. And we're saving lots of gas by doing this, by the way. You can see that we were at 65, we only dropped four, 5%. Uh, we've been detecting stuff this whole time. Well, there you go, right? And, and I think I saw one earlier. I just skipped through it. Okay, so ship automatically pauses when you detect stuff, right? All right. He's just about to come into our clear path. Um, we should, you should be able to kind of, you can't really zoom on him yet, but once he comes in, you should be able to see whether he's, you know, friendly or whatever. You can, you could dive right now if you wanted to, you know, whatever it is you want to do. I mean, I'm not too, okay. So he's got guns, right? I'm playing on a harder level. Um, you could battle this guy straight up. It's fun. It's dangerous. I mean, why not just sink right now, submerge, shoot a torpedo at him, but might as well just kind of show you, like, have fun with it. Watch. Here's, here's a little thing I like. Um, reverse in this game is pretty rad. Oh, I forgot. We don't really have any great guns on this because we haven't upgraded our conning tower yet. But, uh, yeah, like, he's got some, yeah. Trying to avoid these three in the back, right? So I'm just kind of like hit him straight up, and if he gets too close, I'm just gonna like high power it in reverse. So um, let's see here. I mean, obviously this is dangerous, but you know, in a real mission, if I'm really playing realistically, I'm not gonna try and do this. Uh, it's just kind of a death wish, but I've been successful in it. You know, it's fun. You know, like you get a repair if you get hit and you might lose some sailors, but you got plenty at, at home and you know, why not? All right, so what do we want to do here? Um, so we're pretty far away. I don't think we want to start shooting yet, okay? But we want to line up. He doesn't even see us yet. I mean, we could just annihilate this guy, right? We could submerge, load up our torpedoes. Like, for example, if I went to here, here's would be a time where it's like we got plenty of time right like who's our guy in shift right now okay so he's on shift let's do hold up let's see if he comes in he might not come in for oh you know well no he should anyways let's let's see what happens let's see if he gets on him probably not right okay I figured out a way around this. Maybe it's just best just to do this for the time being until you get your third mechanic. Now we're now he's definitely going to jump on there. There he goes. Okay, so we loaded up torpedoes. We're not even going to use torpedoes. I just wanted to show you that that's how I do it. So they're not just constantly loading torpedoes for 99% of the time where you're not even needing them. Okay, and then if, if let's say that you get, you know, a destroyer comes your way and it's like, oh, I just blew that. Um, I got to be quiet, right? Just zero it out. You know, like, you don't want them to make a noise, just zero, 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 zero. Well, we'll stop doing it, right? It's back to engines, perfect. It's just way easier doing it that way than trying to have them figure out when they should be warming torpedoes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. A little, little closer. He kind of moved around a little bit, so I can do something like this, right? I really want to get lined up on him. Okay. So... I'll maybe slow down a little bit because we don't want to get too close. Let's go ahead and put him on a gun. We don't want him firing yet. Okay. We can even put him on a flat gun. Now, let's say I wanted to start firing on him this far out. Um, can we even can we even see him? I mean, yeah, a little bit might be wasting your ammo so i'm gonna get a little bit closer i'm kind of lining it up like i could probably start hitting that right there okay you hear any alarm if you zo zoom on him you might even be able to hear an alarm now we have reverse so if he starts getting too close you can just bust this thing in reverse right so i wouldn't be too worried 
Our guys are really slow. All right. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and shoot him. I want to shoot the gun. I can just switch that, right? I can start firing. I kind of like having it at an angle, right? Now, I, I put in, a, I put in a, a report or a suggestion. I said, look, I should have a spotter, right? Like, you can hear as soon as I fired that the alarm's going off now, right? Um, I... I feel like I should have a guy in binoculars spotting, like, you know, miss short, you know, miss long, miss left, miss right, target hit, you know, whatever, fire on deck. I submitted that. And the reason I love about this game is they did a great way of submitting bugs or suggestions. Hit the F11 key, and there you go. I can report whatever I want. I can say, oh, there's a bug problem. Um, save problem, performance issue, or suggestion. And so what I did is I put a suggestion. Hey, if I put if I man a guy on the binoculars while I'm firing, it would be nice to be able to spot targets. So that's just something I did. And whether or not they listen, who knows? Okay. Um, going back to this. So if I want to shoot, fine. Then be the guy. You know, whatever you want to do, right? Um, if you don't want to be the guy aiming and dealing with that if you got other stuff to do you can click on him click on the ship and this is a little you know it's not the most intuitive but down here below there's a little cross heart you can click that and i can select which gunner i can select both of these guys because he's on this gun he's on this gun and i can say both of them i want firing at that ship and the nice thing about that is if you have multiple ships you can have the, each guy firing at a different ship right um, also, if you click on the ship and you can go here, um, you can actually see the you know centers on that, right? And then start seeing them get pummeled, right? And like just beautiful graph. I mean, this game is really great. <laughs> um, just love how they approached it. They're just the flexibility and I mean, obviously, there's always room for improvement with like you know holes being pump pumped in there. But I mean, really, just cannot complain. I mean, I played a lot of games for over 35 years. I'm about 40 years of gaming, and yeah, it's just. I mean, look at this. I mean, obviously, the guy sucks at shooting, and he, you can unlock. He'll get better, right? So you might want to fire it first but I mean this game is so rad um, you can also hit the N key as a Nancy and go to free camera which is like you know it takes a little bit of getting used to but you can like see you can go underneath and watch your torpedoes like hit the ship or whatever you want to do it I wish they had the like a, a better up key they might have like some sort of up key like where I can get elevation without having to point up um, but yeah I mean enjoy the game take your time right like these guys are moving quickly. Um, you can see the American flag, right? Um, and again, oh, one thing I totally blew, right? Because I'm so I'm so already entrenched in my current campaign battle, is that we're we're not even at war with America. So realistically, we should I should not have attacked this ship. What I should have done is pull up next to him and then and jump on board and inspect the ship. Because we're not even at war with America, right? If you go to the map, right? Britain, red, we're at war with, okay? If you go over here, Canada, red, we're at war with. Okay, but America is not, we're not at war with America. So why am I attacking an American ship, right? I'm just, I'm actually like doing the wrong thing and I completely forgot about that, but I'm glad we covered it. There's so much in this game to cover, it's like, it's really cool though. So what I would have done is gone through here and um, not started firing at him and inspected him and checked his shipping documents and made sure that he's like legit, right? Um, and if he wasn't, then you can, you know, you can sink him or, you know, whatever you want to do, but um, oh well, too late. So to go back to my guy, just hit the leave view. Um, I haven't gotten hit yet, which is amazing. Again, if we start getting too close, like I'm just going full reverse here, and I can just like keep my distance a little bit, right? 
I mean, whatever you want to do, right? I could submerge and fire torpedo them if I wanted to. Like, feel free to do whatever. Um, I'll just kind of ride it out. These guys aren't the best, right? Let's see if I can do a little better. I have no idea because I have no spotter. Let's see if that's a little short or not. You usually see like a water splash if you're too short. Okay, so let's, let's let them keep on going. Um, I can get closer too. Maybe, I'll, maybe what I'll do is I'll submerge and we'll, we'll just finish them off with a torpedo. So let's go ahead and like... First of all, if you hit the dive, right? Instant alarm, right? Like... You know, like we're about to run into some, some serious problems. That's probably your best bet. Now, in this case, we didn't really want to do that because you don't want to go down to 150 meters. So just change that back to the periscope mode, right? And then let's go ahead and get our, uh, let's get our torpedoes warmed up. So I'm just going to sign both until I figure out what. So Hoover's on, right? Now this guy's this guy's not doing anything, so why is he not doing that? I don't know. That's probably an issue. I, I know I've gotten it to work, but I gave him an order above sleep to to warm up the torpedoes. He should be up. So since this guy's doing it, you know, I'll put this guy in the engines if I want, or I'll put him to improve the depth stability. Now this depth steering, you don't need it right, right now because again, if you go back to this, right? Well, it's a little bit choppy. Uh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. It's a little choppy, but whatever. Okay. So we don't have any periscope coming up, so we basically lost visibility of the ship. See how you can't even see the ship anymore? It's really good programming, the fact that they're able to differentiate like when you can see stuff, like the fog of war, right? So what we need to do is we need to put on the attack periscope. Now, I, I did some research on this. I was curious about, because you have an observation periscope and you have attack. Attack is less conspicuous. so. I believe that you have a less chance of getting spotted by using attack. If you put both up here, you can have both your guys like calculating torpedo trajectories. But again, and, and that's okay. But if you have, if you're trying to be stealthy and you just want to peek your head up, I think you want to use attack periscope, take your look, and then come back down. And um, you know, we can turn on, you know, with the hydrophone doesn't really matter. Uh, we can have, you know, them warming up more than one torpedo at a time. That's fine. And then we can put them on the depth steering. Um, one thing that I love about it is you can actually, like, go to the periscope mode, right? And you can, like, this little button right here, you can you can go up higher and lower, right? And you can move around. And Now, we don't have that, we don't have that um, stabilizer on, right? So might be going up and down too much. Uh, this is a little odd too, the, the whole zoom thing. Um, if you, the buttons aren't that great, but you can actually see how it gets nice like that. And then you can actually, you know, zoom in even and zoom out. Um, I'm not sure everyone's aware of that, but it's a beautiful game. I mean, it's just mind blowing that you have that functionality. I'm not sure where my bearings are here. Like, why all of a sudden we can't... Maybe we sunk that ship, did we? Oh, yeah. We sunk them already. That sucks. So, we're, we're better than we thought. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, I try to be diligent, right? I mean, look at this. You're going from 2D map mode to 3D... Rent. I mean, it's like brilliant, right? That kind of programming. Um, I'm diligent, right? We sunk a ship. Obviously, we don't have the suit to go and like explore. I don't do a whole lot. If you just highlight over these boxes, I think it tells you what there's what's in them. Um, but really, what what I want to do is um, uh, I I'm gonna go and it, at least kind of check it out. Let's see. I think I gotta put a letter on here. Yeah. Oh. I hate how I just froze up a little bit enough. It's because I'm it's because I'm recording. It's not as a uh, snappy. There we go. Okay. Now we're here. Now if we had okay, this guy we're up above, so we want to get progress for that. We have four messages queued. Okay. Now I got to put them on the radio. Now I can send and get progress. We're getting points. You know, this is how we unlock and get 
reputation and whatever else. Now look, our guy is still loading up, warming up torpedoes. We have no one in the area who's warming up torpedoes. Done. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to tasks, zero this out, and it'll go back onto the engines, right? There he goes, back on the engines. And that's how I do warm up torpedoes. I know a lot of people have problems. I've seen them. That's how I kind of accomplished it, and it seems to work just fine. I don't mind jumping in there. It's always six and seven for me. Um, especially when you get that third mechanic, like you really get things dialed in. It's like they run very well as a team. All right, so we don't need anyone on Periscope. Now, this is something that I learned from somebody else. I forget who, um, if I can remember, I'll put it in the comment, but I appreciated him showing me this because I wasn't sure. So I assign these guys manual tasks. Well, they're gonna do those manual tasks until they just are tired, but what if I want him to just go back to his normal task? Okay, I put in a bug, again, F11, or a suggestion. I said, there really needs to be like a resume normal task button for any you know manually signed officers. Like, I should just be able to like click something and then all my guys go back to their default schedules, but that doesn't happen. So what you need to do here is if I just leave him, he's just gonna be on that. And if I send him to sleep, he's just gonna be on that. No, I want him to go back to what he's supposed to be doing. So right here, if you right click, it will cancel that order out. And then he's gonna go back to whatever idle. Now that's where he should be, right? Same with this guy. Now I'm gonna right click, cancel his order out, and he's gonna go back to bed probably, right? Wherever he should be, right? Because that's the schedule, perfect. This guy, same thing, but he's already supposed to be on the radio, I think, because we're above. So he's probably, oh, he's probably gonna go back to bed because we have no schedule, right? Perfect. Now on this guy, he's supposed to be at the engine, so I can't right click him. I'm right clicking him, but this is where he's supposed to be. So again, I appreciate whoever showed me that. Um, uh, it's very helpful, but I think there's a better way that the game can get that done. It's not very intuitive, and I don't think a lot of people know that and how it works. So again, this guy, I can't do it because that's where he's supposed to be. These guys, I could. See, now that this is his normal schedule, it won't let me cancel it out because that's where he's supposed to be. So, great. I'm glad that that's out of the way. It took me a while to figure that out. Um, luckily, someone mentioned that. I'm not even sure how they figured that out, but they're brilliant. Uh, let's see here. So I have some guys nearby. Now, I didn't know this at first, but you can actually take prisoners and if you get lucky and get the right boat these guys are just sailors but you can actually get the captains and the officers and they're worth more money so um like right here i just found them so you got the cap the skipper and the officer so i'm just going to take them because we're going to shoot down you know 20 ships or something i'm going to maximize my points i think these are equal they're both the same so don't worry about just getting the skippers just pick up all the captains and officers. You can get all the sailors if you want. If you're going, if you're on your way into port, you know, like you're almost there, then just fill it up. See this? You have two out of eight um, survivors or whatever you call them, right? So I'm just going to grab those two for now. And uh, yeah, we have two survivors on board. And that's it. Now, if we're, one of the things that depth is a little bit weird, like I want to see how deep I am, right? If I highlight over the boat, Right up here, it's 4,200 meters, right? That's a long way down. Now, I'm pretty sure that dive suits don't go that far. So, I think they let you do a dive suit still, and I don't think they should. I haven't quite done that yet, but to me, I shouldn't be able to do a dive suit in the middle of, you know, the Atlantic. <laughs> um, I don't think it works like that. I could be wrong. Uh, so I don't have a dive suit anyway because we don't have any money but I love the dive suit I love inspecting the ships after I you know especially like when it's it's more of a, I try to be realistic about it right I'm not going to try to jump in a dive suit at 4200 meters um, someone correct me if I'm wrong about that I really don't think I am but you know like if I'm here right this is 100 meters right right up here okay highlight over there 113 meters right that's that's reasonable i feel like you know obviously the close to them yeah you know, I'll, I'll stick to that but 42 i'm uh, i think that they, i think they need to fix that um these guys are a little bit annoying this is our buddy and i kind of appreciate what they did because you're not out here by yourself all the time but they certainly get in the way and especially when you're trying to time compress and they show up and they're trying to follow you I haven't really figured out what use they are you can give them like like I can click on him and I can click on a ship 
and he'll like fire torpedoes at it. He doesn't do it so much for destroyers, like, but if you do it for like other shipping, like a freighter, like he'll sink them and you'll get credit for it. So they are useful, but I'm kind of like a lone wolf person, you know, back in the Rainbow Six, like lone wolf days, like I never really had this squad. I like sniper games and I don't really use my teammates as much as I probably should. Um, they're just more of annoying. I kind of wish there was a way to get rid of them because they kind of just end up in my way. Now, I can give him a command to go away, but he'll still follow me. Like, you know, he'll go there eventually. Just go away. All right. That being said, um, we're, uh, I think we're, I think we're pretty good up on our... So even just sinking that one ship, right? We met our criteria. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was easy. Um, we've been down, our, our reserves are pretty low, right? We came up to surface. I just turned everything on, right? Just in case we have a, a bilge, you know, there's no water in here, but it's just turn on, turn off, whatever. Um, beautiful game. If you weren't aware of some of like the cooler things when you're just chilling, like just enjoy it, right? Um, for example, of course he's on the pump, right? But I'm not sure if you realize this. Let's go skip ahead to get him in seat. You know, th throw on some music. Well, I guess we're too far out, maybe. Um, you'll notice that when you do have music on, your discipline's better, right? You have normal lighting, so you're plus 10%. If you're constantly in blue, um, it's, uh, they don't like that. Um, typically what I do is I, I basically am blue when I'm attacking and, you know, normal you're being louder. We haven't really gone into any stealthy situations, but maybe I'll, I'll try that real quick. I'll just speed out of here and see if I can just get myself into a convoy. You know, really, I would avoid convoys until you have sonar decoys. I mean, it's like you're just asking for trouble, especially on a harder level. Like, they're going to find you and they're going to kill you. <laughs> so there's a couple of techniques that you can do. You saw one of them where I'm using reverse and I was able to knock down, like, what are those, like the C3 freighters? Like, you're not technically it's probably supposed to go head to head with one of those, but I just showed you that they didn't even hit me. So, you know, I didn't, I don't think I got hit once. And could I have gotten hit and could I have lost my skipper? Absolutely. This is not a, this is a, a good game. And that's why it's good because <laughs> anything can happen. You know, it didn't happen, but it could have absolutely, it could have been one shot and I lost, you know, you know, two of my officers, right? That's, that's kind of what makes it fun. So I took obviously a chance there just to show you, um, what else do we got? Trying to get in as much information. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Like beginning, just some things that I've gotten through. I mean, um, I don't think I have to get like maybe into port. Like you guys don't think really need to see that. Just kind of like more like the game mechanics and. And obviously it's more fun when you have stuff unlocked. Maybe I'll do a video next with like my current U-boat. Um, let's see here. Maybe what I'll try one last thing is just to try to find if we can be a little bit stealthy. So let's go full speed. And again, I usually full speed out of here just so I can get, get out of this. You know, what's, what's keeping me from going up above the higher time compression is I have those, you know, the, the survivors and I also have that sub if he's following me or not i don't know so now that i'm out what i'll do is i'll switch to two or three or something and a little bit more efficient and then i'll speed ahead right it just depends on how much gas you have now we're not really scanning very great but i'm hoping i might get lucky and just run across somebody so yeah, like once you get the hydrophone maxed out with your snorkel, I mean, you're like, you know where everyone is. Like I could see from here all the way up to here, basically. Like I know where every, you have like a huge area that you're working with with that large hydrophone and the snorkel and using your diesel engines. Like right now we're just wasting fuel, right? We're not using our battery at all. Okay, so. So again, this, okay, so perfect example. Now this is a tanker, so that kind of sucks, but it, See how he's not red? 
Um, let me throw somebody on. Actually, I just want him on binoculars. So, if this was a regular freighter, I could pull up next to him and inspect his inspect the ship. Uh, so maybe I'll try to find that. But because he's a tanker, but really he's not our enemy. We're not at war. So you're actually encouraging the United States to join the war if you decide to knock him down. So I would say don't do that until you your country has told you that you're at war, which probably won't happen terribly long. Look, we've got another ship here. Let's check this guy out. Uh, diesel engines are faster than electric, so sometimes you have a hard time catching. Now, this they're already throwing the alarm. I think that's a little bit, um, a little bit, they threw the, you'll hear the alarm even if you can't see it. So I already knew that it was like a British ship or, you know, someone I'm aware of because it, that's, I think they, they kind of jumped the gun on that one a little bit. That's all right. Let's catch up to this guy. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's go ahead and do torpedoes. I mean... We didn't, we didn't get a chance the last time. So, I mean, obviously, it, I wouldn't probably waste a torpedo on a... I always check, right? And I'm realistic about it. Like, I'll pop my periscope up, whatever, and I'll, I'll make sure they don't have any guns because I've submerged before without checking, and the next thing you know, I'm, like, being shot at. Like, oh, did not... Forgot about that, right? So I always check now. Um, no guns... I'm not gonna waste a torpedo. Like I'll use my deck gun or even the flat gun, right? Uh, we're pretty much lined up though for this guy. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get, I don't know if these guys will be more, right? What I can do is I can throw him on. I have him on tar targeting um, the observation. I have him on attack. We're gonna go ahead and submerge. And we can get all three guys I think to calculate torpedo, I don't know if it actually increases. But I'm sure it does a little bit, but like, watch, I'll show you. Like once we're in clear sight. Okay. So one, two, three. We're at 3%. Now we have three guys calculating. I don't know if it really works like that because it's like, it's like three guys doing math problems at different parts of the ship. Like, I'm not sure that's helpful, but whatever. I. It, you don't really have to do that. I'm just letting you know that you can. Or what's kind of cool is that if I have two ships, I can throw my other officer, right? I can take him off of this one. And I can throw him on this other ship, right? Or this other ship here. And then I kind of have like, I'm kind of double multitasking. So let's see what happens here. Um, you know, I have, he's automatically doing the torpedoes, but if I... This is real easy, right? I don't have like anything going on. I can just assign him, you know, to do another one. Oh, this is something that I learned that may not be known, okay? Torpedo one, torpedo three, torpedo four, okay? Um, your stern is torpedo five. So if you see a V, that's your rear torpedo. So if you have a ship over here and you're trying to hit him, you want to warm up that fifth V torpedo and be ready to fire that one. You want to kind of save that. If you l warm up, a t sometimes they'll load up the, the wrong one. Like he'll load up number five, but you're pointed this way and you're like, what's going on? Right? It's going to shoot out the rear. Like it's that does not make sense. I try to line it up. I try to make it realistic. Like you can probably fire it from any position. It'll shoot out the side of the sub, but I, you can see here that I'm trying to like calculate the trajectory. Um, and be a little bit more realistic. Um, I also slow down a little bit, like when I'm, let's speed up a little bit here at time. Click on here, here's our percentage, we're at 25. You know, we still got a ways. I'll, uh, I'll slow it down, right? Like, when I'm ready to fire. Like, I might speed up now to get a little bit closer because we're still pretty far away from this guy. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Okay, so we're at 90% calculated. Okay, so let's go ahead and just pause it. I'll just stop it, right? Let me make like a slight adjustment. Okay, so um, I don't remember what else I was gonna say, but whatever. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah. 
So right here, see that's an angle out of range, right? That's because it's the rear, the stern. So like, I think they, this was new. Like, I don't think it was there. Like at first I was like, why, why can I, you know, why can my, why is it firing funny? Well, that's because these are in front, these are in back. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Fire one, two, three, whatever you want. Uh, I watched that, uh, like one of the other documentaries where a guy was talking about, like he, the, the U-boat captain had a rule of a uh, one, one torpedo per ship, right? So it's like, whatever. I mean, I'm sure he broke that location, but I think that's generally a good rule. Don't waste four torpedoes on one freighter. Don't even waste one. I mean, unless you are on your way home, you just want to be done with it. You have one left. Sure. Fire it off. But Really, you can just take this guy out with your deck gun and save these guys for something where you really need it. But uh, in this case, let's do um, let's do one. I might even just do two, just you know, just because um, you know it's just a tutorial. Oh, it's because I'm paused. Okay, so you can see this is flooding here, right? It's pretty quick to flood. Warming them up, getting them warm. You can see that the guy does a good job. Like, if you do it right, you just don't know how to do it all the time. All right, let's go ahead and fire. You can actually do some cool stuff here, right? Um, hit that N key, I think. I don't know. See if I can catch up with a torpedo. Well, not enough. Like I've gotten before where like I've been able to like see it. <laughs> now if you're if you lose sight of it like I just did, right, you can just go back to the map and you can just see here. And it's you know, you can see it going through the air, which is the water pretty cool. Let's see if I can get in here. I mean the game is pretty amazing. Let's just be honest. So, now obviously I'm pretty far off, right? That's not the best shot, you know? I like that's pretty far shot, but what do I care? I mean, it's a game, have fun with it. If you want, you can just zoom in, right? That's why I love that, like, 2D to 3D. Look at that. We still hit him. Uh, see how that was, like, a perfect 90-degree angle almost? Like, you have such a better shot of the torpedo, like, actually firing. If you hit him from the side or even in the direct rear, uh, there's a lot of time that your torpedoes will be duds. So really getting that... 90 degree surface, you know, that really collapse and ignite is important if you want to use one torpedo per ship. Now, will this guy sink? I have no idea. And sometimes they're very sturdy. It's like, wow, like I could, I could hit another torpedo and it might hit him in the same spot and he still might sink. So again, I like that about the game. Very, I was like, you know, not random, but it's like you just don't know i mean it's that's i really appreciate the level of aware detail and complexity and i, I don't know man i've I played a lot of games and this is pretty good <laughs> so this is kind of my style though um just little things like that appreciate you know you can again just enjoy it right i mean sure there could be like more animations with you know people on fire like you'll see like a guy just standing here like nothing's wrong like this so what i mean really yeah like he's gonna be sweeping right now <laughs> yeah make sure you clean up that deck buddy uh but whatever it's it's awesome Uh, so what would I do here is maybe I don't want to waste another torpedo. I'd probably get a little closer. I, I'm definitely kind of not going to waste a torpedo, so I need to go to the surface, right? Again, going to surface, I'm just going to automatically do this because that's just what I do. 
Okay. It still hasn't sunk yet. Definitely don't crash into them. I've done that many times. Maybe do something like that, right? And just kind of slow your roll. Looks like we got a new... Uh, I, might, I think that was the same guy from before. Oh, of course he sunk right at the last minute. Okay. So that's the case. You know, we can look for survivors, whatever. You know, I don't care. If you don't want to get survivors, I don't care. I don't even know how many points to get. I don't even know if it's worth it. But just have fun. Um, you can see how we can interact with this, right? We could send a diver, but we don't have a dive suit. Let's see how how deep we are. So, okay, only 200 meters. That's realistic, I feel like. Maybe it doesn't let you at 4,200 meters. I don't know. I, I forget. I thought it did, but I might be wrong. So, once we get that dive suit, I can go down there. Now, that freighter, they might have T, right? T isn't useful. I thought that the, like the gun, the first C3 ship with the guns... They usually have better stuff, like like treasures, gold, or even just like you know more ammunition and stuff like that. I haven't. There's not a whole lot of diversity there, but it's still fun. Uh, so I can't dive. So I'll at least maybe get the captain and the officer, and there we go. Now I have four passengers. Perfect. And now I'm done with this guy. Let's try to get in one scenario where I might be under, like I find like a, a convoy where I'm in trouble. So let's go ahead and speed out of here. I'll try to be quick about it. There's a lot in the game. I mean, it takes some time. Like this guy's still warming up torpedoes. Like, no, no buddy, I don't need you doing that. So I just zero this out. Zero, 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 boom. I leave that because these are loaded, right? It's, I just don't want them warming it. Okay, these guys have their manual commands again, so I'm going to cancel those guys again. Okay, now he's going to bed. This guy was on his regular ship. This guy's, I think, on his regular... Oh, no, that's right. That's right. We don't have a schedule for him. I keep on forgetting. Okay, so again, I don't know what I did. I accidentally clicked. We're just going to get out of here. Goes full speed. Ballistic. I mean, we're bowling through gas. Like, I try not to do it that much. Here's our little friendly guy and just getting in the way. See, I can't skip ahead with him there, so he's almost in the way for me. Okay, now I can. Oh, let's see if I can. Okay, here's another. Maybe I can get one guy where we can do uh, where he's not an enemy here. Let's find out. Some of these boats are pretty quick, so. Go on, trying to catch up to someone on electric is sometimes tough. Like, I'm on full diesel right now with the... With See, I'm not sure why it does that detection. Like, see how there's that little comes up here? Haven't quite figured out what that is yet, but it stops me from time compressing, which is kind of annoying sometimes. I think it's just a wave. But, all right, this guy, oh, that's our tanker. You know, we can't inspect him. I think that's who we saw before. Again, I would say don't shoot him down until you're at war with their country. So, I gotta get out of this guy because now I'm gonna be stuck in his little wake. So either I gotta speed by him, which he's already pretty fast. Let's do that because we want to get ahead. I mean, slow, right? I gotta wait for this guy to get around. You know, another thing I can do is send these guys to rest. So, like, watch. I'll show you here. Let's go to management. Let's take off the observation for our sailor guys, right? That should go away. There you go. A little, just little things like that to get by, so I can skip ahead already. You know, like it still takes a while. Like going slow. I, really, what it probably should have done is gone down a little bit and then out, because he's kind of going the same exact way that I'm going. But whatever, we'll get there soon enough. Come on, come on. We want this to unlock. But also, we're not scanning anyone right now either, so... I'll put the officer on it once we get out of here. I don't know what's going on. This is taking way too long. Let's uh, go ahead and throw him on the binoculars. Let's see if this tanker... See, that tanker's still screwing us. That's, that's kind of annoying. Look, he's fast. I mean, they're quick. I'm full speed. <laughs> it's too slow, right? So, again, just stuff like that. Like, it's it's part of it, whatever. You know, deal with it, move out of the way. Get him out of your swath, right? Send this guy back to the bed. 
for the time being. And then I'll be able to jump ahead more. Okay, so now that we're out, right? Now we can go full speed. Now I can go back up here. Get up a little bit here. And then let's go ahead and assign this guy back to observation. Are we at nighttime? Probably. Yeah, lovely. Now we have no visibility at the wrong time. Red lighting, search light, sure, whatever. It'll go up a little bit. Uh oh. I, I, time compression will screw you up. I mean, obviously, I'm skipping through it, but yeah, I've blown some a lot by time. Watch, it's gonna be the tanker again too. Just can't get can't get around this guy. Let's find out. Oh, he's going the other way, so maybe not. Let's get again. This we're just skipping through this, right? You do not have to be shooting ahead at 6,500. Oh, this is an enemy. Uh oh, so this is. Uh, it's just a freighter. Kind of not what I'm looking for. Um, I wanted to either find a convoy where I'm trying to avoid getting blown up, or I wanted to do like uh, show you guys how to um, like do the papers and for the boats. So let me go ahead and just get out of here. There's going to be a ton of ships on here. You know, another thing you could do, right? It's just first of all get out of this guy's wake. Okay, so let's go ahead and rest him. Put him in listening mode here. Okay, look at that nice big swath, right? Especially if you stop. I mean, I'm going too fast here. All right, so this is really how you kind of want to do your deal, right? I mean, we got three, three ships going three different directions. This guy, we already know, like we would have shot him down. This guy's probably one of the oil tankers. He might be way gone. I, don't, I didn't really pay attention, but it's this is how you want to be doing it, right? So it's like spot check until you get your your snorkel. But the hydrophone is really how you're going to be really scanning large areas. Like looking at through binoculars is just useless compared to this. I mean. So we're really looking for a convoy or a ship. So let's go ahead and speed up. Problem is that I don't have the snorkel. So now I have to go back to the surface and I'm gonna lose this, right? So I can kind of gauge. What I'll do is I'll kind of just look at what direction he's going. Okay, I got two guys going up. Okay, so I'll, let's do like this and then I'm gonna do like something like this, right? Like that's gonna be my route. Um, because as soon as we go back up here, we're gonna lose that because we're no longer at the hydrophone. He's gonna switch the radio. And there we go, switches to the radio, right? And we got five cues messages, so we can, yeah, sure, we can send messages out, but that doesn't help us find ships. In fact, I'm not sure why he didn't switch to the radio. He should have. Again, once you get those other officers, it's so much better when you have your full team. Okay, it does. We can send our progress report. There's one of them. Let's see what this guy is. So again, I, I don't want to lose track of that, getting that cut off, so um, we'll kind of do like something like this, right? Let's see if we can catch up this way. Make sure we're going full speed. We're just churning through gas here, like not, not smart to do if you like plan on being out for long periods of time. Okay, we can rest these guys. Okay, let's see what we got here. Unknown USA. Of course, it's uh, pretty dark. Um, is this a tanker again? It is. It's probably the same one. I can't see anything, but I, I like how they. I like being realistic. Yeah, this guy's fast, man. Look at that. Tanker T2. Okay, so I lost my route, but whatever. We should be able to kind of... I mean, the guy just gets in the way, right? Might slow it down so I don't crash into him a little bit, right? Do a little bit of a turn here. Just kind of showing you guys some stuff I learned, like, like slowing down to do that instead of just barreling into him. 
go back to full speed. I'll get out of here and I'll do another swath or something of the another check. Like you're gonna find lots of ships out here, so, you know, wherever you go. This guy's gonna be hard to get around though, that's for sure. Get rid of him, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, again. Might be going a little quick, but that's alright. Send this guy back to the listening room. Should have another guy coming up here somewhere. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Got a nice little group. We might have one other guy. Sometimes he got a speed ahead. There he goes. So what I might do here is hit him, right? We were kind of on that. We kind of planned that already, and then straight down. So let's do that. So let's do full speed for him. Now I don't want to waste my battery because I'm going to need it for him. So I'm going to go back to the surface. Again, I do this, right? We don't need the red lighting on. I, I don't want to lose. I just do that every time I surface, I just refill. Okay, we lost our... That doesn't seem right, but whatever. Let's see if we can get up. There we go. Okay, let's see this guy. It's probably that stupid Canadian ship where... So we've got another guy coming down here too. Okay, Sweden Empire. Okay, perfect. So, no guns. We're not at war with them. So what I can do is... Now, I wouldn't do this right now, because I got other things that I could do, but sometimes there's like, you know, this guy... What's this guy really doing? What's his intent? Um, let's see if I can see what angle I'm at here. I'm going to have to go the other way, it looks like. And I could probably even do it right here. Just get close enough. And then you gotta slow down, right? Just stop. We're moving too fast. Just give it a second. You know, speed ahead a little bit if you want. Okay, now we can interact with this guy. Go here. Talks to you about it's unarmed. There's no escort. Well, it's a neutral flag. We should investigate to make sure they're not smuggling, right? So I'm gonna send some guys here. Um, I don't have any weapons. I can give him a helmet, but I usually send him with guns. I haven't had any problems yet, but all my guys have had guns. And then I can send additional sailors. The more sailors you send, the faster they'll be able to inspect. So I'm sending the full crew. I'm not sure why they do this little section. Okay, now basically the captain, whether or not he's being friendly or not, whether you think he's suspicious. You don't have this unlocked yet, but one thing I learned about the game is that later on, when you unlock these, you want to do them because you have like ability like to check, well, that port shouldn't be having ammunition in it, you're lying, and then it just saves you time from inspecting and stuff like that. But we don't have them unlocked yet. These are like the little skills that you can upgrade your, your crew. So right now, just leave it. We're basically just gonna search, right? And I just skip ahead, and you can see the time progress. So we're just looking at now. There was a convoy behind me, probably heading my way, but this game is really slow, right? These ships take a long time. I'm not worried that they're even close. I could probably search 10 ships and I would still have more than ample amount of time to prepare myself for that convoy. Of course, as I say that, the convoy shows up, right? But let's go ahead and just keep on going. I'm not going to worry about it. It might have been that other ship coming down the other direction. I have a feeling it was that, because that guy was closer. I didn't really pay attention to that convoy. I mean, I'm just kind of fast. But I have a feeling it's that other ship. I'm not worried about it. I mean, it's just a tutorial, right? Okay, so nothing suspicious. Okay, so let him go. Right, can we shoot him down? Absolutely. Well, it might start a war that you didn't have to start. Absolutely. Can you view the goods? Yep, it's a bunch of... Health kits, okay. Can I steal those? Yeah, probably. Um, do I need them? No. So I'm just gonna let them go, you know? See ya. And you actually get points for that, right? We did a full inspection. Now is it a lot? No. But whatever, you know? It's I like the realism. I don't care about whether or not I can unlock whatever. So, not the convoy. It's this guy, right? This is the guy that was triggering the alarm right again that convoy was here that's like that's like a day i mean literally you could mess around for a day and still have enough time 
So who's this? We know it's an enemy because they alerted the alarm, right? One of these guys. Well, there you go. That's a ship we can definitely shoot down, but we're not going to. And then this is something. I'm not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take a look just up a little bit, and then I'll head to that convoy. I'm not going to do anything with it, but I'm not sure what this. I might crash by the way into that other ship. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh, that's it's our guy again, getting in the way. Right <laughs> now, watch. Check this out. I mean, is this useful? I don't know. Not really. But I just clicked on him, clicked on him, now he's going to go and attack and fire torpedoes. Is that useful for me? Yeah, it kind of is, because I don't have to do it, and I do get points, but... Oh, shit. Let's see. It's just... Uh, it's just a little weird. Alright, so I issued an attack order. By the way, if you hold down shift, you can do that, right? I hope you guys know. If I just do it once, it's that, but if I hold down shift, I can... Okay. And they don't they don't turn very well. Um, I'm just trying to avoid crashing. I still have my search light on, it's Alright, let's turn that off. Let's just get around. Let's see if this guy attacks. Okay, there he goes. He's probably going to fire some torpedoes. Like, is that helpful? I guess. Like, do I need it right now? No. I mean, whatever. He wants to give me some points, fine. But what are you doing? Like... Shoot him. Like, like, I just don't know. Like, what's going on here? Like, what are you doing? Okay, go this way. Like, am I doing it for you? Like, what speed are you going? Like, hurry up. Like, I just don't... I mean, you got an order. Maybe he doesn't have torpedoes. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do with that. I have had him shoot down freighters, and I've gotten points for it. Okay. I, I, I don't know if I care. This is what I'm trying to say. Um... It's, it's a big war. <laughs> like, I mean, Jesus. I mean, like, I spent so much time in here, and it's like it's like you do all that, and it's like it's not even... It's, it's not even an iota of, like, it feels like this game. I mean, we... I mean, you got eventually these all unlock. I mean, it's like... It's, it's really... I mean, I... Nothing but appreciation for it. I am glad it's like that, but... I'm not even sure I'll be able to... I mean, I'm still on, like, the first area, and I've been playing it for a week. <laughs> you know, it's like, is this a game I'm going to be playing for the next two years? I have no idea, right? I mean, a couple of games like that I've been, right? Farm Simulator was one of them. There's some really games that are very immersive where you spend a lot of hours, you know, thousands of hours playing it. Is this one of them? Absolutely could be. So far, it's looking that way. You know, will I get sick of shooting down freighters? Maybe. Um... But we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's just, you know, hats hats off to them. Like, they did a fantastic job. Um, I'm not sure anyone will actually watch this video, but let's see. Uh, anyways, we care about this transport. That's the last thing I'm going to cover. So, obviously, to just, you know, just get out of here. I mean, I'm not worried about passing them. I'm just trying to get, like, this, like, to me, it's like, it's just better to move that guy. I guess he moved, okay. Like, I gotta get out of that area so I can move ahead here. Let's rest, rest. Alright, so I don't know where this guy is coming. I don't wanna get too close. Stop. I need to figure out where this thing is. We're gonna go. We need to figure out where this convoy is. Okay, it's way down here. So, I mean, not even close. Okay, let's see what direction they're going. Oh, they're going away from us. That's even worse. Okay, so. Yeah, low on gas, whatever. Let's do it. What do we care? Looks like they're kind of going this direction, right? Okay, and again, I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to what I'm doing here, but what I do want to do is try to get as far as fast as possible. I mean, I could probably get there with just enough diesel, to be honest. There's plenty of that, but it's just... I, like, we're going slow. Um, whatever. Let's use up some... No, that, that actually worked. I'm surprised we're... They're, they're slow. Like, convoys are slow, right? They're, they're not... Like, there's no way I would have been able to catch up to that tanker in electric. But I also just saved a bunch of gas. So... Still on electric. 
I don't want to be an electric now because I want now I'm getting close. I need my electric in case they in case I need to like chill out, right? In blue light mode. So let's switch to diesel, power up our motors again. Power up our battery, I mean. It's probably a little fast to be going. It's alright. And again, I wouldn't do it this quickly in real life. I'd try to kind of ease my way in there. Okay, so what's our plan here? I don't want to just show up with a bunch of ships like exposed like I am now. I mean, I wouldn't even gone that far. I just got lucky they haven't spotted me yet. Okay, so I would say 10, 10 kilometers. Try to get within 10 kilometers. Like maybe that's a little aggressive, but just ease into it. Okay, this is okay. I mean, sometimes you'll notice a warship. Like, you can take care of this guy too. Yeah, he's, he's like, I think it's Argentina. Like, that's a, like, so I, I'm not worried about him. So we're focused on here. We don't want to lose sight. We're on diesel. We're still up above, right? So um, a little risky, but whatever. Let's just kind of ease into here. Let's try to get within like 10 kilometers. Now, they might have a warship on the outer scopes and they might spot you. That's getting pretty dicey, right? 7.5, that's pretty dicey. But so far, nothing. So perfect, we lucked out. All right, I'm going to turn off this because I don't want to be detected. Okay, I'm going to switch to blue lighting because I don't want to be detected. And I'll even switch to the dive planes to manual because I don't want to be detected. So this is your best chance of not being detected. We don't have any decoys, which I don't recommend going into these. Um, and expecting to live. Also to your motor being on high. Hopefully our, ele our electric, because it's a combo, we should be able to catch up. Okay, we're going to submerge. You know, I can... Uh, let's see here, start. Uh, I, I don't even know if I'm actually going to torpedo. I just kind of wanted to almost to get away, like just show you like how I would if I was going to. Um, let's find out here. Listening room, attack periscope. I'm going to keep you on rest until I'm ready to, to be seen or ready to pop my head up. Okay. Now, we're not going full speed because our engineer is off, so I'm going to put him on the engines here. Give him an extra guy. Now we can go full speed if we need to. This gets a little tedious as we're trying to catch up. You can see we're struggling. This is where that snorkel is, this is awesome. So I can just diesel my way in there, but we should be able to kind of creep up barely. Now watch, so like I'm going full speed. If I stop real quickly, this is gonna expand out, right? I can almost cheat a little bit. There you go. All because I stopped, not making as much noise. Now, this is dicey, right? We got eight to 18 ships. The first one we see is a destroyer or whatever, right? You know, it's they're not easy. The best thing you want to do for a convoy in this case is never come up from behind, unless you want to like try to pick off this guy. But there might be five more, so it's like, sure, can I pick this guy off? Maybe. Like, will I probably miss because they're so agile? Probably. Is it a waste of torpedoes? Probably. Is it a stupid plan? Probably. What's the best plan here? To be honest. It's terribly inefficient, but to go around and then to end up here, realistically, they were going the wrong direction to begin with. So realistically, the, the answer was to find someone else. It, it, wasn't, in, it wasn't in the cards. Um, if you had to, like if this was an objective, basically I would say that the best option here is to go around and to try to, what, like Blazing Saddles head them off at the pass. So it looked like something like this, which is totally hideous, but something like, I mean, and these aren't exact angles. It's just kind of an idea. Like they, they actually try to do that turn. It'd be nice to have like curved, like maybe like a curved turn would be kind of a cool feature, but that's kind of the approach right now because I, coming from the back, I'm on electric. So first of all, I'm not very fast. Second of all, as soon as this guy detects me, He's coming after me. Third of all, even if I lock in on torpedoes and I figure out how to get 100% locked on him, that's not necessarily mean I'm even going to be able to hit him. So all that being said, 
it's it's just a terrible plan. Have I done it before? Yeah. Uh, you know, have I wasted torpedoes before? Yeah. But I think what we want to do here is kind of ease off. He he doesn't. Okay, so like, if I look at the view here, right? It's not very far. So like, he's going. That he doesn't have his hydrophone like we do. I don't think, right? So I'm not terribly worried about making this move. I don't think he can see us. So, you know, if I put out this guy, you can see how far that goes, right? You're like, I'm not worried about him seeing me yet. So, realistically, I could just probably go up here. Now, could I slow down a little bit and maybe give it a few more seconds? Okay. But for right now, let's just do this. Let's go around him like that, that, and like that. Let's try that. Full speed, we're gonna kill through battery, kill through gas. I, this is why I like having gas, so when I do need it, I have it. Because right now we've just been blown through it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this stuff back on. Who cares, we got a ways to go. And basically I'm just gonna try to get caught up. Now am I doing this perfectly and now I'm rushing it? Who cares, I'm just showing you, there's an example. We don't need these guys yet. We got a route and play here. I want to make sure we're on diesel, which we are. We're just churning through gas here. Now watch, I'm just gonna get up ahead here. Of course we ran into somebody else. Like I said, a lot of ships are in this, so no shortage of ships in this area. Uh, what's this guy? No guns, freighter. Easy peasy Japanesey, but not really what I'm trying to deal with right now. Um, let's go ahead and take a little spot check. I'm gonna be quick about this just so I don't make the video terribly long. Yeah, we're kind of on route, right? I could probably cut over right now, it's fine. A little bit close, like let's see about here. How many how many that's yeah, still forty seven kilometers. See like the gate the the perspective is done. Sometimes this looks like 10, but then I always check, right? It's 47 kilometers. That's pretty far. So I got I got enough time to go back to surface. If it was like 15, I would just cruise over there in electric. Let's go over here. So basically, and again, I'll kind of get an idea of which way they're going. They're kind of headed right towards us. So maybe a little bit over. Okay. This isn't perfect, but whatever. I'd be like, we're just trying to get in a good position. It's 47 kilometers, so we'll go a little closer. I'll stop at 15. It's probably a little bit aggressive, but whatever. No lucked out, right? And I don't even know if I'm going to be firing these. I'm just getting ready in case I feel like it. Okay. I I don't see. This is why I don't like having the guys on the automatic, because like I don't care that they're targeting. I mean, I I'd like having them off to be honest I, I sometimes I just do this I just I'll do it when I'm ready you know and I don't like them doing it either I don't like seeing it they're not ready all right um, blue lighting compass off we should be good to go we're a little bit low on air but whatever Who cares I can turn on the electric but it's fine we're gonna be good Again, this you know, this is just an example. I wouldn't really rush it this much, and you know, I'd have those decoys. Uh, but let's go ahead and submerge. Get a real good idea of where we're going to be exactly. One other thing I love about the game is that it tells them that they're there, but these ships might be over here. Like it's not accurate, and you have to sometimes you know go around a little bit. But we're headed right our way. Which is good. Now again, this is important. We're at depth steer is it's clear, okay? Which means we can't see anything. I might let me see if I turn up the gamma just for this. What if I turn up all the way? Um it's pretty calm. Now, if this were rough, sometimes your ship will like come way up and they'll spot you. So be aware of that. Like, if this was bad, or if you if you have that third engineer, which is so important, you know, 
throw him on this depth steer station, and then you'll he'll be much more accurate, and he won't stick up. I really feel like that's important um, to not be seen. Okay. Now that we're here, are we close enough? We're still 14 kilometers. We're still pretty far. So not yet. I mean, I could. I mean, it's just pointless to throw. I guess I'll throw someone up. Let's throw up on my attack. Right. This is the more um, inconspicuous. So let's just start with him. And uh, I'm not really warming up in a tur I don't need full speed, so I can warm up a you know torpedo. I don't really need him yet, so I can just do, do that manually. Um, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna go up a little bit here. What speed am I at here? I'm not even going anywhere. Let's go three. Just trying to get in a good position here. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, right off the bat, warship. What I was trying to do is place myself. You don't know where they are. I was playing, trying to place myself right in the middle, let them all pass, and then I was going to pop my head up right here. But this guy kind of blew it, right? He doesn't know that we're here yet. He can't see us. We can't see him, but we have a hydrophone. So first things first is I'm going to put this guy to sleep because I don't want to be seen. Second of all, we're warming up torpedoes right now. I don't think that's the smartest thing. Like, you could probably get away with it, maybe, but it's just gonna be making noise and I'm not sure we're gonna even be able to fire up. This is a bad spot, right? Sometimes you get lucky where these guys are off on the, the wings and you get like, I can just knock down like nine ships in the middle and these guys are so far out that they don't even know where they are. But I'm playing on a harder level, so that's a little, probably a little bit more realistic him leading the path. Now, as long as I don't go too close, like where he's right above me, I might be able to sneak right by him. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right here. I'm just gonna to try to use up this lane right here, just like that, okay? I'm not gonna actually go there, but I'm gonna line myself up for that. So as quickly as I can get at it, one of the problems that these subs are, they're not very quick, right? And that's where this rudder, sometimes when you're out using the gun, like you just wanna turn, you can just hit this rudder like left, right, or back to center, right, whatever. Um, Let's try to line up here. I don't know what speed is the quickest to turn around. It's definitely slow no matter what. I, I wanna get in that lane as quickly as possible. I'm gonna stick with just where I'm at. Um, hopefully everyone's quiet, we're on blue mode. Like, it's okay, listening they can't hear anything, but in this engine they can't hear anything. But if you were on the depth steering, you they might be able to hear you. So another thing you could do right here is just drop a little bit, like go down to like, you don't want to run into them either, right? So like, I can just drop to like, you know, you can go to 30 meters if you wanted to. That might be a little much, but like, let's just drop to 20 meters. Let's just see if we can sneak in this little lane. I want to try to turn off those motors as soon as possible. And actually, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to try to see. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have a lot of sound. I'm. I'm pretty far down below, so even if they're above me, I don't think they're going to hit me. I could even drop even more, right? Might just do that just a little bit more. Let's just go down to like 30, 35 meters. Might be a little bit excessive, but whatever, okay? Um, yeah, this is where it gets fun. So this is a pretty cool setup. It's like, hmm, save game, right? Like, in, in like, explore, right? Like, you know, like... Convoy, like how to, you know, this is how you get better. Like you don't have to do it on the, you know, like you can practice, right? <laughs> I come back to the situation. Well, how do, how do, what if I approached it this way, you know, and, and just mess around? Um, maybe I'll use that later for a tutorial or something, or we'll, we'll try it again or whatever. Let's go ahead. We're not just make sure we're not going anywhere because they can detect when your engines are on. Nothing's going. I don't have the cheat on. Like if you have the other one, it tells you like what's being loud. I, I just, I turn that off. I think this is as quiet as we can get. So I'm gonna speed ahead. Let this guy pass. Okay. Let's come back up. Let's go ahead and put on our, now, 
These guys are hauling. I'm, I haven't been calculating. Could I have come up a little bit earlier? Probably. Um, will I be able to knock down a ship or two? Am I in the greatest lines? No, but if I'd done it right or better, like maybe popped out right at the end and then immediately tilted and then picked a side and started targeting. I've, I've been in situations like this where I've knocked down like six, six freighters maybe before these wing guys even got to me because you know, you could do it quickly. This guy's going to be a problem. These guys, not so much. This guy is probably more of a problem and this guy. So it's really this guy and this guy I'm probably most worried about depending on which side I decide to go on, but they can't see you. It's nighttime. It's dark. You know, I have the gamma way up. Um, uh, it's tough to see, right? So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to have to get pointed around a little bit. Um, so I probably start targeting this guy, this guy, maybe this guy, if we can get turned around, it's pretty dicey. And then remember, I have the rear. So I can use the rear for maybe this guy, right? So let's get pointed this direction as quickly as possible. Um, let's go. We don't need engines right now, so let's put him on the improved depth steer station so we don't stick out. This guy's going to pop his head up. All right, so now we can start targeting. Pause. All right, so probably not quick enough to calculate for that guy, but I might be able for this guy, right? So we got to get a second guy up here. Let's go ahead and, and hit him. Now this is where the manual mode might be cool, like torpedoes, like I'm like just fire, right? <laughs> like no calculating, just point and aim. Um, this guy we should be able to hit, right, with the rear. So that means I got to get the rear ready, which I'm not sure we have. It might already be warmed. Let's find out. Um, you know what? I don't even think I have a stern because we didn't have enough money. This is why the first. That's what screws us. So this is the first one, we don't need money. So that's actually, it's a great idea, but it's the very first, <laughs> I don't think they planned on you getting this far, the very first uh, mission, but we don't even have torpedoes in the stern. So we can't do our little neat trick of, what we would have done is calculated this guy with the, the rear, knocked him down, maybe knocked this guy, cause you have two for the stern, two uh, torpedoes. And then we would have tried to hit him him and then eventually go after him. So what's that five? And then if you're lucky, you might be able to pick off, you know, whatever. So that's it. I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial I'm going for. I don't want to be doing that. Just want to get in the range of this guy here. You know, now that this guy's in range, I can just, you know, let's just pick out one guy maybe. But it kind of sucks we don't have the rear. And how you could check that, it's just because it's our first one. But um, if you go to the ship, right? and you look, you can just click on the little um, torpedo tube. And we do have one. It's being warmed, so that's why it may not be showing. So that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm gonna put one of these guys on here. Torpedo. And then I'm gonna put two of them on here. I'm not sure how much this guy helps out. Um, this guy's a little bit, what about the distance? That doesn't matter, let's see what happens. We'll just we'll calculate for these two. So we got eight and ten percent. You know, we're stopped. We weren't good. You know, no one hears us yet. Let's go ahead and speed up. Now it might point in the right direction. Not great, but so this guy's going to come up first. So I may want to just point like a little bit that way. Now, do I have to do that? No, because it's not hard targeting mode on. But I try to be a little bit realistic, right? How about right there? 54. Do we have a rear? We do have a rear. Now I can fire it right now. Um, I think it's close enough where we should we get a little closer. It's only one torpedo. Will it sink him? Maybe. It's a, it's a tanker, so it did blow up. You know. 62. I'm not sure what this exactly means. It's not like a hundred percent chance you're gonna hit if you have it at a hundred. Uh, I think think it's just like 
obviously it helps your probability, but there might be others, some other, you know, I'm gonna give it a little bit more room here. Let's go up to 75. I usually try to, obviously the higher the better. Whatever. No judgments, right? If we miss. Oh, of course I just screwed that up. I hit the wrong one. That's alright, it floods quickly. Okay. So fire, see how this one's gonna fire to the rear. Okay. Number five, right? You don't wanna be firing. Don't wanna be firing this one with this guy. It's the wrong direction. So now we're gonna switch. Uh, we can actually dedicate this guy on here, maybe hopefully calculate even more. And you know, in this case, if this was real, I might fire two, I'd probably fire two at this guy just because I wanna make sure I get at least a kill. Like we did all this effort. It's worth two torpedoes. Now I'm gonna line up a little bit better though. So I'm gonna switch back. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And um, as soon as this guy gets hit, we might, these guys start might wiggling. So I'm just gonna fire, get ready. Okay. This guy's so slow to turn around. Just like anything you can to get moving over. I mean, it's so slow to get moved around. Okay. There we go. Let's fire these two. Now, like I said, I, I knocked him down. Did I need to fire two at this guy? No, but I mean. I'd almost just rather just make sure I get the, the kill because it's going to be hard for me to follow up if I just if I don't really damage him um, or I miss with the one. So I might just start assuming that that's going to work. You know, do I go for this guy? Maybe. This is a C3, so this, this is a lot beefier. Right, he's got a... You might not be able to knock him down easily. This guy's probably an easier target. Um, I could even, do I have a rear still? No, I don't. I, I only have one torpedo. What I, what I would do is probably like, if I had another rear, right? Like shoot one this way towards this guy, shoot one this way. This guy's starting to come in. This is one of the guys I was talking about. I was worried about him and him. This guy is actually detecting, but whatever. So I think really this is the only one that's logical. I'll try to sneak a shot off. That being said, we're in a terrible angle. Um, I'm not sure. We want to be at like 90 degrees, so this guy's pretty far off. This guy's closer, so I would say like, I, get, I mean, this is probably wrong, but I'm just trying to get out. Of torpedoes. Let's see what these torpedoes do. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. All right, we got one. See, that might not have sunk him. Now we got two. Yeah, That's, chances are looking pretty good. So, um, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and try to sneak off one more. Might as well, right? I mean, we got a bunch of torpedoes. I'm just in a really bad spot. Now I could hit this guy straight on. It's just harder to hit him. More likely to miss. I'm actually better lined up here. I think I went the wrong way. These subs are so long to turn around. Okay, first of all, we want to be calculating because that's a mistake, right? We want to be calculating all our guys. We're only at 2%, so I got to make sure you don't forget that. All right, let's just try this. Okay, let's do. Um... Okay, that's good. Stop, and then as soon as we're done, this guy's kind of. Oh, we already got a guy on us. All right, that's. This is where those decoys are so handy. Uh, we might die, right? I would drop a decoy right now. I would let them, you know, try to depth charge. But whatever. All right, so let's get these things out of the way. I'm just going to fire what we have here. Let's see how close. Okay, we have two. Perfect. And then I'm basically going to turn off these because I don't care that we're loading them. Like, we don't have time. Firing two. 
bis Torpedo einschlagen. Uh, I, I didn't flood that one. There he goes. Fine. And then what I'm going to do is immediately pause it just for a second. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I just... Because you should just be able to give the order, or they should just know. I'm going to turn that off, and I don't want them loading. This is where you want to turn the loading off. So five, six, seven. Easy. Five, six, seven. This one you leave on most of the time, except I don't want them loading right now at all. I want them quiet. Um, we're not even going to stick around to see if those hit, basically. And we're basically going to do, um, let's see, the best way. We're in blue lighting. We're basically going to dive. How far can we go here? Almost the max. And uh, what we want to do is, um, you're done. You're done. You're done. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Everyone shut up. And then I'm going to try to move once I dive down. I'm going to try to like slide. We just lost our torpedoes. Okay, so I'm going to try to like use the the lowest level motor and try to just shift my way a little bit odd. So he's kind of going this way. It's kind of hard to see which way to go. This guy's kind of going this way. I don't really know the best way. I just want to get out a little bit. Um, I'm not going to be able to make it very far, but just somewhere, even if it's just straight up, right? Like that, like just not where you were, where they saw you. So, and a very low power. If they're further away, I might speed it up and then like kind of go down, like do like one click. Right, one click. Just to get out of there. Right? And then eventually one. Okay, I'm just trying to get out of the way. I don't want them to detect. Okay, I, I'm a little worried that they're going to detect me. I mean, I probably have a little bit. I probably didn't go far enough. Like, but this is where the sonar decar. Like, he's going to start depth charging. Hopefully, we're deep enough. Hopefully, we move down a little bit. Once they start depth charging, if they pick the wrong spot, I can move again because they can't detect because there's so much sound. But it's just whether or not I get lucky or not, and I might be screwed. Right? I might. Now, this is where you can close the the bulkheads. So they're moving, right? So I'm going to kill it real fast because I'm not going to, like, I, I got them just enough to where they're not on me, right? They saw me. They dropped it where they saw me. I'm a little bit out of the way, but now that they're dropping depth charges, like, they can't hear me, right? I can even just turn. Okay. I just want to kind of move and get out of his direction. Now he's not dropping depth charges right now, so I don't want to... There he goes. Oh. But still not hitting me yet. I might get lucky. This is dangerous without those decoys. Trying to just mask this ship noise. And what's cool though, if you like go in here, you can actually like see him going off and falling on you and you got to be a little bit careful with um, the depth because if you're moving you might be already low like if this was like 4200 meters like we're good but you might want to just do like we're like do like this right where you're not worried about hitting the bottom let's see if we can see where the chargers are at let's see how fast we're going to I'm moving along here I, I might be able to move a little bit faster but oh Okay, so this is forward, right? So they're behind us. You can kind of see them going off behind us. So I'm just trying to get out of the way, like not letting them detect me. Now, as soon as they stop, I might have to stop my motors again. I'm not sure, like, am I safe to go full speed with depth charges? Maybe. You can actually see them getting closer, so I'm going to speed up a little bit. You can kind of see them in the background there, dropping. Okay. 
Uh, you can't see them in real life, but you should be able to kind of hear roughly how close they are, so I think that's kind of why they gave you that bone. There we go, get a little further away now. I'll switch to speed one so I'm not, my motors aren't so loud. And eventually they'll hopefully run out, and eventually hopefully we'll be safe. You know, maybe even just rudder like completely you know flip direction flip sides or whatever I think that's how that would be I mean we're going so slow anyway but just to do anything you can to get yourself out of harm's way so we're still going one now this detection we have that turned off so like Do they know where we are? That doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means that we detected them because we can hear them above us. It doesn't mean they detected us. So I just, I'm stopped right now. Like I have no idea where they are. Now, as long as they stopped dropping death, if I, I can put my listening room on, right? But because we're dropping death charges, it's not really working. But once they stop, you can see it's kind of coming up, right? I mean, where are we even, right? Underneath. I'm just hiding under that one ship that I hit. It's kind of my goal. We're not moving. We're blue. Everyone's quiet. No depth charts going off near us. I think we uh, might have made it successfully. Sure, as soon as I say that. Schnell, schnell! <laughs> Obviously, we didn't get into repairs at all, but that's kind of a good thing. Okay. So, what do you think? Think we made it? Looks like it. Oh, right, we got some promotions. See how these little arrows? So we can promote, right? I can make this guy a better gunner. Um, skills. I can say I want him to be able to uh, calculate. Um, mode, you know, do stuff, or I want him to be able to shoot guns better, or whatever. You know, you guys figure it out. Oh, they're depth charging again? Or, oh, they're just grabbing at straws now, man. I haven't even moved in forever. We'll just sit here. This is why we, you know, we made sure our batteries were. Uh, I can't believe they're still depth charging. I might be using like sonar, like, like um, you can you kind of get upgraded your ship later, where you're not as easily detectable. Like they might have some sort of. Sounds like they're getting close. They might have some sort of a. It's so hard to tell. Not really seeing anything close. I'm just gonna ride it out. I don't recommend speeding up because if you do, you do get hit. Next thing you know, it's too late. Like four of your sailors have died because you time compressed one one second and screwed up. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, obviously, I didn't go back to port and you know get my collect my mission points. I you know I hopefully you guys don't need that. If you do, I'll be more than happy to put it in there. But I think that's going to conclude it. I think we made it out alive. Uh, if not, I would at least try to move a little bit more. Or whatever you know, I think we're good though. You know, I would have like seen where we're at. Yeah, but I think that's a good start. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else. Thanks, guys.